This video is all about fast fitness tips and their myth busting episodes on FTP. So as we can see here, Alex from Fast Fitness Tips says that 95% he's going to bust why 95% of his 20 minute power is FTP. Now first, I just want to go to the definition of FTP because most people don't look at it. So the main academics, Dr. Adam Coggan, FTP is the highest power that a rider can contain in a quasi steady state without fatiguing for approximately an hour. So, you know, that's, that's you know, some people that could be an hour and five minutes, some people that could be 50 minutes. So again, it's not definite. So your hour power is not your FTP. That's one thing that potentially people are getting confused about. So anyway, here it says, you know, most people, including myself, take 95% of their power as FTP. Okay, fair enough, they do. Um, but he says that's wrong and that most people drop more. And there's lots of reasons why I disagree with this. Um, on this one, he basically talks about the two power files you know, that he's given. Unfortunately, he doesn't actually give any of the numbers between this because I'm not sure how he's done this. So if he's done it on the turbo trainer inside, that was less of an issue for me because I think then realistically what's happened is that, you know, people are probably given a fair effort for both. But obviously, most people mentally can't push themselves for an hour. Um, but if he's done it outside, then I'm going to have big issues because I think most people, okay, I don't, but a lot of people have a 20 minute climb near them, but no one has an hour climb unless you live in the Alps. So again, different terrain, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not sure, so I'm going to give him the benefit of doubt and just say it's the turbo trainer, which is what the other one is, and he has data. And, okay, then we're going to say that it is, and uh, just, you know, everyone's going full. But again, how how hard people can push themselves, you haven't done an academic, sort of, you can't, like, watch these people do it, you've just got the data. Uh, we'll then go on to the next one, which, so that one, it's hard to say, but we'll look into some data in a minute, and um, I'll show you why I think that's, I think he's wrong because, the main reason I think he's wrong is just because that actually the 20 minute power going to 95% of your FTP is not your hour power. And I think that's a misnomer. So that's sort of the main one. That's not a huge one. But this one does annoy me a lot because I love the eight times two test. People might say, oh, it's because you're very anaerobic and like VO2 max based rider. So, you know, you get higher FTP. And I'm like, I've got files to disprove that, uh, as I always do. But uh, this is why it dislikes him. So he says that 20 minute power is 87.7% of riders, eight times two minute power. Only 6% of riders get close to 9% of their eight times two power when measured against their best 60, 60 minute best effort on file. Again, this triggers me because let's be honest, how many people have done an hour full gas? An hour full gas? Like, come on. Like, even a 25 mile time trial, like, you're gonna have times when you, when you, you know, back off. Unless you've literally got someone doing a 20 minute test up a mountain and then get an hour test up a mountain. I cannot see how you can possibly compare them. But anyway, he does. Um, and then he says using normalize and normalize. You cannot use normalize when you're talking about FTP because that massively increases your anaerobic component. Like it's rare, but people, you can, if you're a really, really good sprinter, you could have like a normalized power of like 450 and your FTE is like 430 or something because you're just so anaerobically based. Um, yeah, this is this is a good lad. Yeah, it's a good lad, good lad. Uh, anyway, so we'll go into the files here. So this is basically what he's saying. So on this eight minute test, most of these links don't work annoyingly, but anyway, and also there's some annoyingness about like I wouldn't trust this turbo trainer with accurate power. Um, so on this first one, 146 watts, 145 watts, okay. Um, and then on their 20 minute test, they did 138 watts. So then if we scroll to the right, he basically says like, you know. If it's 20 minute FTP test, which he said is wrong, then, you know, this is what it sort of is power EB. So this one, it's like too high. Other people, it's too low um, and all the rest of it. So we'll look at this file. So this file here, hopefully we'll be able to click on it. It may not come up. But a lot of these files, you'll see that the pacing, which is done of them, triggers me. So this isn't too bad. But again, there's consistent dropouts in this file, which I wouldn't use. And there's also significant anaerobic component here, which again is not ideal. This one is a private ride. We'll look at then look at another one. This one looks better as well. Um, and then this one, I don't know why I use this file, but you can see what I mean. There's like huge surging, well below, way above. And then this, like what someone's doing, so I don't know, 400 watts and FTP is 200. That's like 200% of FTP in this eight minute test. So again, that's, um, that annoys me a lot, um, which is not ideal. And then this one again, like, what is this sprinting? Suddenly getting up to like 400 watts or more. Um, so yeah, I don't really know why he's used these files because what I'm trying to say is that he's used people's files, which I don't think you should do. I think you should do it 
in a more scientific way. Obviously, it's hard to do, but I don't think you, know, you should make big conclusions and then try and show what, what he's trying to show, which is basically they're inaccurate. So is eight times two minute FTP is, you know, not the same. So obviously, if you're perfect, it should be 100% because you're two eight minute FTPs should be the same. But obviously, for the, most of these people, um, it will not be that. And then if you look down, he has some numbers. So anyway, you might be like, okay, fair enough. This doesn't look an ideal test. If you haven't explained it that well, maybe you could go to someone else who does. So anyway, obviously, being by myself, I um, have done two FTP tests. So you might, I'll, I'll show them where they are. So the first one is somewhere, a little bit, uh, it was, so anyway, I can show you more of my numbers if you really want. But basically what I'll be able to show you is that um, that my FTP has slowly increased. So this is it in March, right? So my FTP is 3.33. In January, I tested it and it was about 3.27 or a little less than that. And then you might say, okay, yeah, fair. And then I tested again in May, which you say, oh, it's a month later um, here. And I did 5.7 watts per kilo for 20 minutes. So that's 350 watts. So this gives an FTP. So this is a 3.33. And you'll say, oh, okay, how did you get that? So You'll have to excuse me because the power file is slightly corrupted on the second one, but not too bad. So the first eight minute test, 372 watts, right? Ideal. Um, second test is AO5. You might be like, oh, it's 360, but you'll see at the end that there's some slight issues here. And if we zoom onto the 755, it's like 365. Um, so that basically ended up giving me an FTP of 333. There was also a couple dropouts here, which is a bit annoying. But anyway, so you can roughly see my FTP is around 330, 333. So that's not bad um, for my weight. Not unbelievable, but you know, it's not bad. So if we then wanted to calculate what would be my 20 minute power, roughly, let's say the 95% rule, you can see that it should be around 350. We then go on to my 20 minute test. And what do we see? 350 watts for 20 minutes. So yeah, that seems like it correlates absolutely perfectly. Maybe you're all gonna say it's psychological, you've on purpose gone that hard. But I mean, you can tell I can't because for the first 14 minutes, I did 353. And then for the last like six minutes or five minutes, I did 340. So you can tell it wasn't psychological. I was absolutely flagging at the end. So in my expertise and for my training, it seems to be correct. But the more important thing is, so my FTP is 333, right? Okay. Um, so we'll scroll down to when I took that test. And the, the, re the reason you set FTP is can you do your intervals? So that's where it is. And then we're gonna go on to, so this is, um, I need to done some training. So there's, there's just some zone two rides. And here we go. So you might be saying, okay, fair enough. Your FTP is 350, but can you, uh, sorry, you're 330, but can you actually do your intervals? So then we're gonna go onto this. Oh, eight minute intervals, 340, 340, 340, 340. That's four eight minute intervals at 340. Mm, that seems like it's correlating pretty nicely and then we can also do some over unders which will come in a bit um, so again over unders again does it correlate to what we want to do and if it does then your FTP is correct so it's not all about you know the number per se it's not about bragging it and all the rest of it so again we can see my first in over under intervals 340 watts so we can see my over interval oh, I think we got an invitation to edit, but that's we can go to do that. 393, which again is roughly what we wanted to do. Oh, so that's the wrong round. Which is about 100 and what? 20% roughly. So that was roughly what we want to do. Normally you do it under that's 115 to 120%. So that's ideal on this one. So we did, then we have seven minute interval at 335 watts. Oh, that sounds about right. Another seven minute interval at 330 watts. And then we have a other sort of, well, we are, ran out of road, but again, 330 watts. So then again, you would say, is my FTP accurate for this train, these two training intervals, which are my bread and butter, and that's how I get better? Yeah, it is. So they work. The 20 minute test works, and the two times eight minute test works, as we've shown here. Maybe that's just for me. Maybe it's not for everyone. But trainer road, like the two times eight minute test, they like the 20 minute test. So I would say they are correct. And as long as you keep the testing it, sort of the testing the same and your train the same, if I try to do my intervals inside, I'm not going to be able to do it because I can't push the same power inside. On the flat, I can now do it pretty much on the flat and the climbs power is pretty similar. 
If I try to do it on my TT byte, no. So again, I think that, that is potentially why. But for me, the more important thing, the most important thing, is if you can do the numbers. It doesn't matter if it's wrong, if it's right. But I don't think, I think your body isn't down to 1%. It's like, oh, it's, maybe it's 96%. It's like, but your body fluctuates day to day. Your FTP is a rough ballpark. It could be up and down 5 watts each day. Your power meter has a plus or minus 2% accuracy. Especially on my left side of pa stage power meter, which everyone thinks overreads, and it doesn't. It triggers me a lot. My 350 watts could be 343 watts, or it could be 357 watts. And each day, there's that plus or minus 2%. So I find it slightly ridiculous when people get so hung up on these such small numbers, when in reality, if you think about it, it's, it's impossible to actually do it that way and have that much accuracy. Because, you know, you just can't because the power meter isn't that accurate. If your power meter was plus or minus 0.01%, then yeah, for sure, but it's not. So FTP is a super important thing to track, very useful. I love it. It makes me have goals and, you know, feel like I'm progressing, but it doesn't, it's not the be or end all. And the other thing is, as long as you calculate it using a two times eight minute test, an hour FTP test, 20 minute test or ramp test, any of those four ways, that'll give you close enough to the ballpark value. The only way you know your FTP, realistically, is do lactate tests. So go find your local university or whatever who's going to do a lactate test and do that. Oh yeah, but then they're going to use their power meter, that's not the same as yours, slightly different accuracies, waste of time. Do you now see my point? There's no point spinning hairs about stupid things like this. Both of them work, in my opinion. Both of them have allowed me to train full, and both of them allowed me to get super fast. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one.